what is up? It's me, Jay here, and welcome back to my channel. So, yes, as you all can tell by the title, we are going to be reacting slash listening to Queen by Nicki Minaj. Girl, finally, and Nicki, girl, all that delay and shit, girl, was a mess, girl, her team. Nicki, what I'm gonna need you to do before I listen to this album, what I'm gonna need you to do, sis, after this album releases, after, you know, this whole layout, this whole era, you need to fire your whole team, sis. Like, you are an A-lister, girl. You just need to get rid of them, girl. Like, they need to go. Like, do you know anybody who wants to work for you, sis, and you're dealing with these half-ass people on your team. Girl, you should have fired them as soon as you released chun -Li and Barbie things. And Girl, they should have been gone, girl, because at this point, it's just a mess. But anyways, we have the album, and bitch, I bought the album, so girl, we're gonna listen to her, so you already know, sis. But Nikki, like I said, fire your whole team, girl. Get rid of them, rid of the motherfucking trash, and girl, find a new team, girl. It's time, girl. Beyonce fired her whole motherfucking team for no reason, sis. Just to fire their ass, girl, okay? So I'm gonna need you to get with the same. Anyways, without motherfucking further ado, sis, Play that intro. So track number one on this album is titled Ganja Burn. As the world turns, the blunt burns. Mm. Watch the cunts learn. Fashion icon, or do you have burn? I'll move the key, hope for one turn. Okay. It's one turn and one burn. I straighten all these bitches out with one burn. Mm. Mm, okay, bitch. Mm. I'm living. I love the production. Since the production is a yes. Burn. My favorite part of this song is definitely the verses. I love how the verses are so like strong and they really put the song well together and also the production is what I really love. It's really giving me like, like, you know, like, you know, whine it like bitch. It makes me want to like move my motherfucking shoulders. And then the chorus, the chorus is cute, but it's not my favorite. I mean, I like the sing, I like the melody, like Gunja Burn Gun. Like I like how she sings the melody, but I definitely prefer the verses over the chorus in this song. But either way, girl, Miss Nikki, that's a serve. I love how you open the album with this song. Moving on to the next track. And then I like the end of the song where she's like, die slow, like, you know, bitch, let them motherfucking hating ass bitches 
who be dragging your name, Nikki. Let them bitches know, because at the end of the day, bitch, they still gonna check for you. So, girl, what's really tea? Like, bitches love to drag Nikki name, but they'll be the first bitch to tune in like that. Girl, make up your motherfucking mind, bitch. Die slow. Mm. She came for Young Thug. She came for every rap nigga in the motherfucking game. This bitch just fucking annihilated every rap nigga in the game who has tried to get at her and talk to her. And it's like, girl, I'm living for you, girl. Like, you are that bitch, girl. This song. Okay, so out of everything we heard so far, Barbie Dreams is definitely my favorite bitch. And I like how, I love how, like, she transitioned to another sound at the end of the song. Like, bitch, Roman was jumping out at the motherfucking end, sis. So since I've already heard Rich Sex, we're going to move on to the next track, which is Hard White. <laughs> Girl, she's dissing, girl. Oop, I didn't. I don't know who she's dissing, but says, girl, that was a little shady, Nikki. Like, girl. But anyways, this song leaked, and we all thought it was titled Halfback. I guess she just reworked it and then renamed it to Hard White. So I am really familiar with this song. When it first leaked, I was like, bitch, the production is it. I'm going to need this from Nikki. And girl, she's it. She's that girl. Nikki, we're here for her. Girl, you're you're doing this, girl. Nikki, so yes. So the next song is Thought I Knew You featuring The Weeknd. <laughs> Mm, she's gonna start singing. Mm. Okay. Okay, Nikki, I'm gonna need you to rap, girl. Girl, 
Girl, uh -uh. Okay, so mm -hmm. thought I knew you, girl. I didn't even listen to this song in full because I'm already irritated with it. The only thing that I liked about this song is the production. But girl, Nikki, mm -mm, this is not it. This is a whole skip, sis. No shade, but um, this is the first song that I don't like out of all the songs because I like bed and I like rich sex. But mm -mm, I don't like thought I knew you. Like that's a skip. So the next song is Run and Hide. <laughs> Okay. Mm. Okay, I like this. Mm. This got me in my feelings already, bitch. Bitch, this song got me in my motherfucking feelings about a nigga that I never had, bitch. Um, run and hide. She's a cute girl. We're here for her. We're going to be saving her. But, like I said, the only song that I don't like so far is Thought I Knew You Future in the Weekend. Like, Nikki. Girl, that could have been kept, sis. But anyways, the next song is Chun, <laughs> Chun Sway featuring Sway Lee. Girl, I know this is about to be a damn mess. Hello, no mm. Oh. Sway, I'm here for it. I don't know about y'all, but I like this. Like, this is cute, but that title, it cracked me up no lie. Like, girl, I thought this was gonna be a hot ass mess, but it's good. Like, it's good. Like, I like it. Like, Chun Sway, that was cute. It was unexpected the way it sounded, but I like. So, the next song is LLC. stupid like that's what I really like about it and I like how she was coming for you know some record labels that are trying to make you know Nikki 2.0s and she was saying how like there would never be another one after me like I'm the real like this me Nikki Minaj Nikki Lewinsky Nikki the Harajuku Barbie she's the only one doing it like there would never be another Nikki Minaj so you guys can stop trying to recreate her it's never going to happen nobody is going to cross over how Nikki did in pop music nobody there's there's it's impossible, and you know, she spilled the tea, like, that's the truth, girl. She was dragging Remy, she, she dragged that bitch. Remy, girl, what, girl, they promised you a career, but girl, where is it, girl? Because you're releasing singles that nobody's buying, girl. So the next song is Good Form. Hey, hold up. You see a bitch, you, Okay. 
Okay. Okay. So this was a song that everybody was going crazy about that was in the Benz commercial. Nikki, why the fuck wasn't this released, girl? This should have been released over Rich Sex, girl. I would hear this. Rich Sex is my shit, though, so I'm not going to diss her. But this would have been the better choice over Rich Sex. Girl, I'm mad now. I'm mad. After this, Nikki, after we get this album, fire your, get rid of your whole team. That's what I need you to do, sis. I need you to get rid of your whole motherfucking team. Fire. I don't give a fuck, girl. Fire everybody on your motherfucking team and find you a new one. Scout for a new team, girl. Fuck them. You gotta do better than this, girl. Cause, mm. So the next song is Nip Tuck. Please do not start singing, girl. Give me a rap. Give me bars. Okay, so with this song, I wasn't really here for the singing, but the rapping at the end was good. I really liked the ending. That was probably the only part of this song that I really liked. <gasps> Moving on. This is a cute little interlude. Okay, so that was a cute little interlude. Like, it's like sometimes I like Nicki singing and then sometimes I don't like it. Like, it depends on how the production sounds. Like, if the production is good, if it's like fun and playful, I'll like it. But if the production is like how Nip Tuck was, then you know the singing just isn't it for me. It's not that I hate it. It's just that the production plays a huge role when Nicki is singing, girl. But you see, I like this singing, okay, girl? This is a cute little interlude. Let's move on to the next song. about me I like Nikki singing in here cuz it's it kind of makes me feel inspirational in a way you know it got me my motherfucking feelings girl like girl this is what I need from you but run and hide is my shit girl that's still my favorite song that she's staying on in this album along with the too lit too late interlude rap come on give me a rap bitch rap to me Nikki I don't want the singing Sing on the rest of the fucking song. She can keep that future because his voice. Oh, 
In my, I don't, I, personally, I don't like Future's voice. It sounds like an auto-tune mess. People, they can listen to that, but personally, me, I don't listen to Future. I like rap. Like, bitch, I want to hear somebody rap. I don't want to hear nobody singing over no fucking trap beat. Unless you can actually sing. So, Future is to no. know. So, this song is it. We're here for Nikki's party, girl. Actually, but she said Ashley Banks, sir. Miami was cute. I like how her, like her flow was switching up and like how she was doing that. Bitch, that's cute. Okay, Nikki. Miami is a bop. We're going to be saving her. Okay. Okay. Chanel, that was it. That was a legendary female collab. We are here for this. I first want to say 19 tracks. That's the only thing that I probably don't like about this album. Well, there's two things. I'm gonna say it. The fact that there are 19 songs, it kind of feels like it's drag. It's almost like dragging out because it's so long. And I think there's like one song on here that's almost literally six minutes. Another thing for me is that there is like a lot of singing. Like, girl, Nikki, you were singing your ass off. And she was singing like she was on the voice. I mean, I'm here for it. But it's like, oh my god, there was so much singing on this album. But looking at the track list, I want to say that my favorite songs on this album are definitely Majesty, that's one, Barbie Dreams, Chun Sway, I love Chun Sway, I don't give a fuck, I love Chun Sway, LLC, Good Form, and that's probably, and Coco Chanel, those are my top six. On this album, girl, Barbie Dreams is let, Barbie Dreams is my number one. Barbie Dreams in Good Form, that's, that's all I need to get me through my motherfucking day, bitch. Nikki, you got me sweating, bitch. This concludes the listing of Queen by Nicki Minaj. Overall, I'm here for it. Like I said, I think that it does drag on, but overall, it has bops, and we are here for you, Nikki. Woo, bitch, I'm sweating my motherfucking ass off, bitch. Nikki, you got a bitch dancing like shit, bitch. Thank you, Miss Nikki. This is your week, bitch. Happy album, the day, bitch. Even though it was delayed to the gods because of her messy ass label. Like I said, the only thing Nikki needs to do is just 
fire her fucking team. Fire your fucking team. Like, I don't give a fuck. Like, fire that nigga that was on the phone on Beats Radio. He needs to go. Bitch, he needs to go. Beyonce fired her whole fucking team. Bitch, she fired... She, Beyonce, she said, get the fuck out. Bitch, you gotta go. Get the fuck out of the fucking door. She fired them. So, Nikki, what I'm gonna do is just fire your team. It's that simple. Fire them. Fire them. I don't see how it's so hard. Fire them and find a new team. You're a Nicki Minaj. Who would not want to work with you? Get with a better manager. Get, like, I don't know. Just find a better team, sis. Because we don't need this to happen again. Girl, you are an A-list celebrity, girl. Never again, girl. Never again. But, bitch, I want to thank you for these vibes that you have gave us. But, like I said, fire your motherfucking team. Anyways, you guys should comment down below. What are your top five from Queen? What are your favorite songs? What did you like about this album? What didn't you like? Let's start a whole discussion in the comments down below. Bye. I love you guys. Hey, you're my hey, oh, no.